Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our C# Sharp tutorial series. In this playlist, we'll be creating one application, basically which will be storing the data, which requires storing the data and retrieving the data from the database. I'm may I'm going to make one student database where uh, the students' information can be stored, like his personal information, his academics information. They can be stored into the database, and it can be retrieved once uh, whenever it is required. This concept can be applied to any type of application, to where you would like to save the data and just retrieve it. You can make uh, any type of uh, application once you get the basic idea of this thing. So what we will do? We'll just start up with our project. We'll select Windows Forms application in the Visual C Sharp. We will name it as uh, um, YouTube SD, and we will just uh, say OK to create our project. So now, just give me a second so that uh, I can set up whatever is needed to run with this application. Let me just pause the video for a second. <laughs> So uh, here I have everything whatever I need for uh, adding the student. This form will be uh, add student. Okay. So here we'll be uh, able to add his first name, his last name. We can upload his image if we want to do that, or uh, like we we will we need to upload his image. We can upload his mobile number, his father's name, his father's mobile number, his local address, his permanent address, his gender, his date of birth in this format, his roll number. Roll number is divided into two blocks because the uh, college or the university I am uh, focusing on right now has got some prescription or some specification of his roll number like this. You can change it the way you want and we'll be having the batch. What batch does that student? student belong to and we'll have a button to save all this what i have over here is a picture box uh, you can just find that uh, out easily if you go to the toolbox and uh, just scroll down you will have a picture box this is just to display or just to preview his uh, image before uploading it this is the loading bar if you want it you can keep it if you don't want let me just remove it i will not have it so we are done with the uh, add student form and what we will do is uh, we'll create one more form uh, let me add uh, let me just change the name here add students okay uh, this is not gonna work now leave it so what i will do is i will just uh, add a new item I will select a windows form and let me just uh, give it a name as edit student because we will need to edit the student also so let me just go and give this form a name because this form one will not make a sense let me just go up and just make the name as add student okay so now this form is add student and uh, we'll change this text edit students text and just edit student fine now just give me a second so that uh, I can set up everything over here so uh, I have uh, uh, designed this edit page. Let me just give you a brief what I have over here. Over here, this is again our picture box. This is the first name, last name, same all the info where uh, you entered the information previously. And uh, this is a new thing which you are seeing over here. This is a data grid view. You can search for that. You can just uh, go to the data and in that if you go down you can see data grid view 
I have just added that. Okay, uh, what will happen over here is here the complete uh, list of the students will be displayed. Once you select a student, his all the information will be displayed over here with along with his picture so that you can change it the way you want and you can even uh, uh, see his image over here you can change his batch you can change his date of birth except his roll number you are allowed to do everything okay so uh, this was it for this video in the next video we will be trying to go for we will be trying to do some uh, more stuff into this project so basically we have the uh, two forms ready with us hopefully in the next video we'll try to add the database and we'll try to work with the data exactly so till then i hope you like the video and thanks for watching